ya baba. <risa> ah, ya. Oh, no was a such a day this has been. Princess Kiara's birth. Another cycle of life is complete. And the pride's future is once again secure. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Mufasa, look what you are doing. The cycle is broken now. Why do you... Oh, there is trouble in the pride lands. There is another cup. Hmm. Where could this be? In the Outlands. But that is where Simba banished Scar's followers, mm. including his most loyal, Zira. Mm. Kobu, don't let it go. What's the matter with you? But mother, he wasn't hurting anyone. There is no room for weakness here, my son. Remember, Scar <gasps> took you in and accepted you as his own son. But he wasn't my father. No, but he chose you to become the next king. When you rule, we shall no longer be forced to live in these dry, barren, disgusting, pathetic, termite infested outlands. Mother! 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 You were there, At in the pride lands. We saw everything. We saw the whole thing. We, we saw Simba's cub. cub. What? Vitani, what did you see? Simba's new cub is a girl. A girl? <laughs> Scar, my beloved. Did you hear that? This couldn't be more perfect. Who's she talking to? Shh. Scar. <gasps> Where? Where? Scar's dead, genius. Yes, because of Simba. If not for him, Scar would still be king. And I, Zira, his loving, devoted queen. You know, speaking of kings, I was thinking, since I am the oldest, maybe I should be king. Huh? Don't be a fool, Nuka. <laughs> Just a thought. Kovu is the chosen one. We must fulfill Scar's dying wish and train Kovu to become king. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I can do that. Look at the Pride Lands, my pets. So green, so inviting. That is our home. That is where we belong. And soon, my beloved Scar, we shall reclaim your kingdom.